www.newtoboss.com. This is Ty. Uh, the video that I'm creating right now is still a part of the video tutorial series on Adobe Audition that we've created. It's all uploaded on YouTube. In case you want to learn uh, something about Adobe Audition, you can just look up from the list of files that we have in there. Right now, on this video, I'd like to share to you on how you can convert a .mp3 file into an OGG or .ogg file. Again, MP3, you'd want to alter that and make it a .ogg file. For whatever reason, I don't know, but it's your precise reason for doing that. I just would want to help you in how you can use Adobe Audition CS6 to do that. What you'd want to do first is find uh, a file that you'd want to convert like this. We got some of this as pizza.mp3. This is a radio ad a raw voice file for a radio ad we created while well, we uh, we've demoed a lot of uh, tutorial videos about Adobe Audition so what we would want to do with that again from .mp3 take a look at the file extension or the container you would want to make that .ogg so open up Adobe Audition CS6 that's going to take you to the editor view sometimes you could also work on waveform or multi-track the perfect uh, view to work on that will be the editor panel Open up your folder and find your file path for pizza.mp3 or whatever file name or whatever file I mean you have in there. Just simply hold that and drag that straight to this panel right here again. Hold, drag, drop it there, and play it. New to boss treats you for a Valentine pizza party. Get uh, reason why you'd want to play it first so to verify that it's the file really that you'd want to convert yeah and it's on stereo sometimes it's oriented differently probably you've recorded that or outputted that for a 5.1 or for uh, a stereo a mono it's 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 just gonna come up there while you drag it alright so yeah what you just would want to do in converting a file I just would want to show you this first to verify that it's really an mp3 file take a look at the file name right on top editor pizza dot mp3 here dot mp3 here dot mp3 so you are really targeting the correct file okay control a on that to select everything if you would want to just use this part right here you can just highlight that All right. so for now we would want to highlight everything so we won't leave any element control a right click over that and save selection as or you could go to file right here we got something in there that says the same save selection as or if you would want to do shortcut on your keyboard control alt s it's going to give you a save selection as properties panel from here you just have to rename your file it says in there pizza 01.mp2 uh it says mp2 because that's the reason conversion i did so what you'd want to do with that again is change that to an OGG container. Just, uh, sorry, go back here first. Let's name that first uh, Pizza One Dash OGG. Well, you'd want to rename that with a file name, and you're just going to be extension the same, sort of like a duplicate. Bef uh, because, as I always say, you have to think of the other computers that you might would be using this on. Sometimes not all computers have file extensions activated to be visible, so it doesn't show the .mp2, .mp3, .ogg. So by just looking at the file name pizza01-ogg dot blank, because you can't see the extension, you would know instantly that it's an OGG file. It's a wave. It's an MP3 or whatever. Again, it's all up to you. It's just a suggestion. So from there, you've renamed everything you select the location on the path we're just gonna drop it now on the desktop so we can test later if it's really gonna play and format right here mp2 audio we're just gonna change that to dot ogg right here again click on that go to ogg container right here is the uh, container option and it's gonna change that notice that the file name would also change dot ogg format dot ogg right there and we're actually done but if you want to change the sample type 44100 stereo 32 bit you could go on this panel click on change you got something that says same as source 
or you'd want to do mono, you'd want to do 5.1, or base, which is the source that we have right now is stereo. Cancel out for now because it's not the target. We just would want to convert that same as the source, right? So just cancel, and right here, we got something that says okay. Take on that. It's gonna do up a little bit of a something and bring this down. And here, take a look at those. You can see to say in there dot ogg. Uh, this is an XMP file, so just drag it here so I can show you. It says dot ogg in there. Um, I'm using Windows 8. I don't have the uh, a lot of codecs installed. So if I'm going to play this, it's gonna say file not supported or it's gonna say error. But we have VLC player to play that. Just drag it straight to that. New to boss treats you for a Valentine pizza party. All right, so it's actually playing. And notice right here, this is your converted OGG file, and this was your original MP3 file. All right, so nothing has been changed, just the container. Again, for some other video tutorials, you can check out www.newtoboss.com and do subscribe to our channel, youtube.com slash newtoworks. Again, my name is Ty. Thanks much for watching.